importing marks from Google Forms made easy for you. First of all, open up your Google Form and then look for the Responses tab in the top. Click on the Response tab and then you want to find the spreadsheet icon which is in the top right corner and you want to click on that which will open up the spreadsheet for this test. Now, I tend to always rearrange it slightly to make it easier for me to use in Gradebook. I take the first two columns, the time and the email addresses, and I just slide them over all the way to the end and just drop them down. We don't really need them. You can probably also delete them if you want to. So I'm swiping back to the beginning. Now I'm going to move the score value behind the name of the students. and move the student ID number before the score value after the names. And our second last step is to change the score value to a simple number value. So we go to Format. We're going to go down to where it says Number. We're going to go to uh, the Number term and select Number. And it's going to give us these decimal places behind it. Uh, we want to get rid of those by decreasing our decimal place value by 2 and we're down to a single score value. That's what you want when you import. To Im Our final step is now to export. So we go to File. We're going to download an exported file. It's going to be a CSV file, so a comma-separated value file. And we just click and we save it on our desktop someplace where it's easy to find because we're going to access it again right away. And now it's time to switch to Gradebook and create a regular assignment in Gradebook. I've already made one for you here, as you can see on the far right-hand column, the empty column. Uh, you want to make sure that it has a name, that it has an abbreviation, a category, a score type, usually points, and of course a point value. Right-click on the heading once you've created the assignment, and we're going to go to Import Scores. We select the CSV file that we saved, and you're going to want to make sure that you're in advanced mode for this. So you might be in basic, so click on the tab that says advanced. Now here's the secret. You want to click on validate student name twice. The reason why, if you take a look over here in this right column of the import marks, you'll see that one of the values is missing. And for some reason, when you click on the validate student names twice, it tends to put all the marks in there, even the missing ones of students that uh, maybe spelt their name incorrect. And then you just go import and you're done. Voila, your marks are in there and you're set to go. Make sure you press save. Don't forget to save, most important part.